Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me. Root Beer here, looking at question four on our Fermat paper from 2019. In the diagram, point P is on the number line at 3, and V is at 33. The number line is then divided into six equal parts uh, by the points P, R, Q, uh, P, no, we already have P, Q, R, S, T, U. Sometimes reading is hard. Uh, and so here's a visualization of our number line. What is the sum of the lengths P, S, and T, V? Okay. So we're being told that uh, the number line is divided into six equal parts, so we know how spaced out the Q, R, S, and T are. We might give a name to that equal spacing, you know, something like X. So we've got six little X's, and that distance makes up uh, the length from 3 to 33. So we could, we could probably work that out. T over here at 3, V over here at 33. Now, uh, you know what? I mean, I'm going to, this question doesn't deserve to be crammed down below. Let's give it its own space. 3, 33. Okay. Now we know, I'm not going to draw on the other points for a moment, that it's a distance 6x between them. Well, we can figure out this distance. 33 minus 3, that's, that's a distance of 30, a length of 30 between them. And that's supposed to be six of these equal spacings x. So x should be five. So q is five over from three, r is five over from q, five, five, five. and another five for you. Okay, and then between u and v, another five. So what do we want? We want the distance between uh, the, the length RS, or sorry, PS, which would be 1, 2, 3, 5, so 15, plus T to V, and that's 1, 2, 5s, or 10. So we just need to calculate 15 plus 10, and that's 25. So that's the distance they're looking for. Okay. So 25 is A, and that's going to be our answer for question number four. Question number five, I'll see you for that next time.